I mean, why am I being made the bleeding checkout, Doris, all of a sudden? When, when did I win that competition? Sorry, love, I, I've got a fair in the back. Looks like you're walking. <laughs> yeah, right, Keys. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you, you better not be going too far, because I'm so flipping hungry, I could eat that mangy pigeon I just ran over. Between a couple of slices, a nice crusty loaf. Ha, <laughs> lovely job. Because, I'll tell you, I ain't going shopping for Nosh in one of those fancy pants self-service supermarkets these days with their unidentified flying objects in a bagging area. I mean, can someone tell me how a bottle of cheap German plop is so hard to identify? Uh, I, mean, I mean, why am I being made the bleeding checkout, Doris, all of a sudden? When, when did I win that competition? Ah, oh, you know, it makes me pine for simpler days, mate. And I'm not just talking about sitting down to me old mum's cooking. Cos, to be honest, I'd rather gnaw my paws off than eat that muck. Nah. I'm talking about way back in the 5th century, Attila the Hun. The scourge of God, as he was known to his mates, was one of the top dogs on the globe. And by most accounts, he wasn't the nicest of blokes. But his warriors had some seriously clever ideas for when it came to dinner time. What they did, right, was take a nice, big, juicy chunk of fresh meat, stuffed it right up under their nag saddle, away from the flies, and popped off for a gallop. Probably dabbling in a spot pillaging en route, no doubt. But by the time they got home, all the bouncing around had squeezed the fluids from the meat, plus the sweat of their trusty steed had salted the joint to perfection. And well, hey presto, they had a delicious dried salted meal for tea. Zero messing about, job done. I mean, oh yeah, they, they might have chopped your head off if you looked at them a bit funny, but they definitely had some handy hints for the kitchen, mate. So anyway, I was in one of these so-called food halls the other day trying to get a singular tin of chicken soup. Endless aisles of tins, mate. But if it wasn't some poncy potpourri and coriander flavour, it was flipping white truffle with zest of aubergine. But you know who came up with a bright idea to preserve nosh like that? Only Napoleon blooming Bonaparte. Well, sort of. Old Boney was so tired of his navy popping their clogs after eating rotten food on their escapades on the high seas, he ran a competition with a 12,000 franc prize to anyone who could come up with a cheap and easy way to keep their grub from going off. This clever chef chappy called Nicolas Appert invented a way of preserving all the lovely chow in wax sealed glass bottles which could keep it ship shape for months on end. So, the French sailors got their soup and beans and clever Nick stuffed his britches full of dosh. Everybody's happy, everyone's a winner. A couple of years later, the British Navy nicked the idea wholesale, but stuck the food in canisters. Classic. Oh, oh, oh. Right, oh, right, that's it. I'm gonna start chewing up this steering wheel, unless I can get something to eat. But where did you say you're going again, mate? Why not just subscribe to Head Squeeze? It doesn't cost you anything. You hardly have to do anything. You have to just lift your finger up and touch the screen or move your mouse. That's it. Go on, do it.